Hi, my name is Brian Arnold, and over the next minute and a half, we'll be discussing how the courts determine custody. I get asked a lot in the state of Utah what they use to determine custody and which parent becomes a primary parent or who, how they decide sole custody or joint custody in Utah. In Utah, there's two types of custody. There's legal custody and physical custody. Physical custody is the one that I get the most questions about. In Utah, it's the best interest of the children Now, is the standard that they use. Now, that standard has a lot of other factors that the court looks at also to determine ultimately what is the best interest of the children. Some commonly things that are looked at is how the parents parent the children. What's the bonding with the children? How much has this parent bonded with this child or hasn't? One common thing I always tell my clients also is what's your work schedule? I think a lot of things that get overlooked is, for instance, I have people that come in and they work graveyard shifts. You can't have your children overnight if you work a graveyard shift. That's common sense. doesn't mean you're a bad dad or a bad mom. That's just one common thing that the courts look at. They also look at the history of your parenting skills. They look at if there's been abuse, neglect. Uh, they also look at your financial ability to provide for the children. These are some of the commonly looked at things by the court and the court commissioners. And as you go through your divorce litigation, you'll see that these things become more and more apparent. But it's important that before you even start down that path, that you get your ducks in a row, so to speak. You start looking at your situation, seeing how you can improve it, seeing what the court's going to look for. And that way you'll have a better sense of where your divorce will go. If you like this video, we have a lot of other videos that answer a lot of the commonly asked questions when facing divorce in Utah. Otherwise, you can contact us through our website or call us on the phone.